Hey, yeah. What the fuck's going on? We're here with a New Jersey fucking guest today. I know it's been a while. Things have been happening. Boy Basement Crew, shittiest podcast on the internet. How's it going this fine Sunday? Uh, it's a beautiful day to be alive. I hope you're having a good weekend. I'm here with the one, the only. Come on, introduce yourself. Hey, man. what's going on, man? See, Sawe, be the biggest young yama in the world. Y'all already know what's going on, man. Shout out to Boy Basement, man. We about to turn up for y'all. Fuck yeah, time. yo. Yama reminds me of some Dragon Ball type shit. Like, it's like a chi-based energy, you know? It's like some type of energy source. That's really how I be feeling, bro, honestly, when I do the shit that I do. So, <laughs> I guess... Before we get into this, you know, wonderful interview, I'm glad to have another New Jersey artist on. I felt kind of crazy cheating on my state. I was going all over the place. But listen, those people, the last few episodes have been classics, you know, and I just want to thank everybody for keeping through and through. I know our set still looking same, same, but it's because we're working on big things that we can't even reveal. I love it. I love this shit, though. There's, we have like a vault of all the art, like, because we've had a lot of people give us art. We have hella posters, hella just art from our friend group in general that, like, when our new stew is ready and unveiled, you know you're going to be back anyway, so yeah, we're going to be doing hella saying. content out of there. Um, yeah, and just, you know, more cooking shit's coming on the way. I definitely will int- invite you to that now here live, you know what I'm saying? Hold me to it, but... Or I'm a definitely host Chef Silly that. B, bro. Yeah. I'm a cookie, whatever the hell you could think of, bro. We're, we're trying to sculpt the cooking show to be more guest-oriented, because, like, doing it solo was fun. But, like, I can only be so goofy to myself. Like, I like kind of, you know, adding more, you know, flavor to it, you know, through guests and stuff. Like, for um, for you, I just want to know, let's get right to the interview, you know what I'm saying? That's enough announcements, the void basement, <laughs> we're fucking here, putting out content. But for you, I want to know, why the name Seaside Wavy? Oh, man, bro, that shit goes back to when I was, like, I've been doing this shit for a long ass time. For real? Man. Like, I, I've been, like... I don't went through so many different name changes from. I like, saw that kind yeah. of on SoundCloud. I was <laughs> I like kind of trying to. That's why I won't clarify because yeah. I'm like, nah, why the name? Because you know? it, it's been something I've been doing since I was like ten. You know what I'm saying? So damn. When I um, when I first started doing it, it's like all right. I was trying to be the the turn up guy. Like I wanted to be like I ain't have no dreads, no tattoos, nothing. But like I was real big on the whole Waka Flocka movement. Okay, so, so Flocka was kind of like That's really that. where that Yama shit came from. Like, okay. It was just some random, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, That's kind of like your your chant, you know what I'm saying? Your embodiment through vocals. Because that's what Waka, most of the time, like his bars was never really carrying the track. It's it was just nothing. the energy. It was, that was all, and that was yeah. all it was. I just used to be on that bitch screaming Yama the, the whole time. <laughs> like, that's all it was, the straight ad libs. I love that era over music, the fucking bro, Lex yeah. Luger beats. Yeah, like, yeah that's, I love that Lex Luger era, honestly. That shit, yeah, that was my shit, bro. And then I, it, I wasn't going nowhere with that. You know what I'm and then I was <laughs> drunk as hell watching Jersey Shore one night talking about like Seaside Wavy. Like I'm trying to get Seaside Wavy. I was like, just gonna say because <laughs> it reminds me of like how the Jersey Shore, like yeah. the Jersey Shore, the show, like because that show is big. I mean, being from Jersey, to me that show is pretty popular. Like almost Jersey every Jersey show. head knows it. So. Yeah, exactly. That and that was the one name that just stuck with me forever. Like and, so, just ever since. Like, but Yama was always just the movement. Like that's just gonna be that's me regardless because that's really where everybody was like, all right, understood, like, bro. You know what I'm saying that's always the movement. Yama, it's Yama. <laughs> Man, you see me? That's how the, that's how that that's how the album came out. You feel me? Yama World. Which right. how did that come to be? Like that's kind of like your. Because it seems like, you know, you kind of are in this period right now where it's like, like you said, that other old stuff wasn't working for you. And now you're kind of yeah. moving on to Yama World and like actually kind of releasing some. I, I mean, I'm a new fan, so I don't know. Like, do you do, would you say Yama World, like how did it come to be? And like, is it your best project? Yet? Oh, man. Um, I be hitting really, you. Know, sorry, yeah, no, nah, that really goes back. That That's to, because like I was saying, I had a lot of points where I just stopped. I wasn't focusing on music or nothing. I, I I let down, you know, a lot of people. I think that's a part of you feel me? That that's always a part of the process, you know. You're but the yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, you know I did the same saying? shit, bro. Like if you even look at my YouTube channel, I took like a two year break. Yeah. Right, and then especially during COVID too. Mm-hmm. Especially during COVID, like I wasn't making no music. I wasn't even living in Jersey at the time. Like I was back in the DMV. Oh shit! Yeah, so, um. 
but yeah, so I came back out here. I'm just like, all right, like everybody knows like who I am already. I'm trying to figure out how I could get back to who I am. You know what I'm saying? So you felt the yellow energy leave. You yeah, know what like I, I lost some other myself. shit. Yeah, like I it was a big loss. I took a lot of losses and I lost myself too. In the in the midst of that, so the thing is, at least you're at least you got the balls to admit it. I mean, at the same time, like yeah, artists go through shit. Like if you weren't a good artist, no, like, that shit is real, bro. That's like you yeah. know, and especially with men's mental health and all that shit, all of that shit is real, bro. Oh, bro. And, and there's days where everybody go through it, and then like, everybody be feeling like they can't talk about it, or everybody too scared to. Oh to yeah, that's I hate like, nah, like that's that. therapy one on one. If you can if you can say it out loud, that's already half the battle. Yeah. Like oh, people bro. do not keep it a hundred. Like that's like, I know it's cliche to say, but like that's a real ass thing. Like people yeah. really will not tell you how they feel at all, it and is. then they just be like some snake slithery shit. Right. But yeah, even with uh-huh. us, like there's been days where my mental health is fucked up, and I just don't want to do this podcast. Like I literally call it off. I'll be like, we got to reschedule. Like I've done that to like maybe like We've two or three that, guests because yeah, it's just like right. You don't want to. You don't feel like a ta- like a talking mood. It's you don't like, feel you, like you. You don't feel like yeah, yourself. And COVID could do like that yourself. to people, bro. It was such a traumatic, stressful yeah, thing to, to a lot to of people. people. On a podcast during COVID was whack as fuck because it was like learning how to interview people, but we also barely yeah, talked to people. Right. Yeah. We don't go outside. So it, yeah, some of those early conversations in the midst of the pandemic, you can really see like how like we're the struggling. topics we talk about is like yeah, we're like our brain rot is just at a hundred percent. Yeah, like because all we did was sit and, like you really just sat in your crib. That's all you could do. Yeah, like, like, we couldn't cr- even go that, out. Like you, you couldn't do nothing, bro. You couldn't do nothing without like they even say you had to be vexed or you had to like nah. That you can't. Wet, I mean, bro. I don't think. I think nowadays they know they won't do another lockdown just because of how bad it fucked up mental health. It oh fucked up God. children. Like kids got affected by it, big and bad. There's been a lot of issues with it. I to this day don't know how I feel about the lockdown. Like I was for it and against it. Cause it's like we didn't know at the time what it was. Like it was a big scare, but at the same time, like looking at the loss now, like of humanity, like the the way things are, just like in the news environment and shit, it's crazy. Uh, I mean, bro. The, the lockdown. I feel like that shit. I feel like it didn't even really matter in the first place. People were still getting COVID. Yeah, sure. yeah and well, Everybody because people was still getting nobody gave a shit. fuck, bro. Like I was still, bro. I was still bro, getting I shit. Like. Yeah, I, yeah. How you, <laughs> yo? The Krabby Patties are essential, bro. But fuck all this depressing topics, yo. Let's get back on the yeah. good energy. I mean, yeah, all right, yeah, back to Yama. Yeah, world. Yama world, like, bro. How did that album so, come to be? That all right. Um, yeah. So I'm just <laughs> thinking about how I could take over the world. You know, exactly. Like, but like, I want it to be bro. my world, Yama world. And that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what like I'm preaching over like throughout the whole album. You know what I'm saying? And with it the features like, on it, bro. Like, how did it, you pick those people? Like, I'm oh like, man, shout out to Cash Core. Yeah, we uh, are. Come on, bro. he Clap just dropped up. just dropped the EP. Cash World. Shout that's out his to yo days world. before Cash. Yeah, he I yo. got him on uh, Rich Junkie. Rich Junkie going crazy right now. That song too. is definitely pop off. That song is one of my favorite workout songs, bro. And I don't even <laughs> be working out, but when I do, that shit's on, bro. Nah, that's that. That's definitely the energy I try to bring to with all my music, <laughs> yeah, for real. Bro. Just make you want to. And like, your little go snippet crazy. on his album is just like, bro. Oh, hey. oh my god. Go listen to uh, Days Before Cash, but Thanks. I just want everybody to. Really know who I am, you know what I'm saying? Yama so World, Yama take a world. dive into what Yama World really is about. Like I'm turning that into a, like right now I'm working on an EP. It's uh the Nightmare in Yama World now. Yeah, look at that. It's going to turn news, into bro. a whole. Yeah, right, right. So now the Yama World is going to go through some, you know, planetary shifts. You exactly. Feel like? Okay. Like, so this is what goes on like during all of that. Oh my god. You know, bro. in the midst of just like. I'm working with a couple people. I had uh, KM and Slim. They was also exactly. on the album. I was, I was about to say, how did you like meet all these? Like, how did you come into the to the vibe with them? Like, into the shit, into, into the mix. It was really through. It was really through Cash. Like, I met all them through Cash. Yeah, yeah. Cash be knowing people. I mean, he, I mean, this rap shit is is stretching deep in New Jersey <laughs> now. Like, it's getting met, it's yeah. getting nice. I, I met KM and Slim through um through Cash in the studio. We was in the studio one night and. They was there, they was doing what they was doing. And yeah, just from there, 
you it's know, that's all networking. It's just like, all right, yeah, yeah like your music's come good. through next time. Yeah, yeah like, like I like your music. You like my music. Let's make some music. And then shit. from there, we just we just did some shit. We like the motion. That's a mafia beautiful right thing. Thanks, see, it don't always need to ha- need to be some you know fucking you know industry plant shit where you gotta like nah, get get features through contracts and shit. Like it could be organic still these days. Yeah. And I mean, truly, some hits for, and. The thing is, I saw when I was looking at your album, it's it's independent. Like you're not with nobody. Like, nope. is that a thing you want to keep doing? Like, do you believe independence over sign? Like, would you ever um, sign? You know, I would just because it's like I understand how. I see. I mean, could, I understand how like you know you get put in a contract say for like a year, but you got to make sure you're going hard for that whole year. You know what I'm saying? To get your name out there, to do, you know what I'm saying? Because it does have its perks. Like, yeah, you do get free eyeballs. Right. So it's like, all right, from there, bro, you just got to build. Keep building, with like, for yourself and just, you know? Yeah. So I I would sign. I would like to stay independent. I would like to sign and then go independent. That's, like, what a lot of people do, too. You know what I'm saying? So... (sighs) Yeah, my only thing is they always want to take ownership of your shit. And it's they like, do. What if you they want? Do. Like, what if a producer comes up to you and it's like, yo, I made this banger remix. And they're like, nah, we don't want to release this. And it's like, you That's you one want, thing like, I, I That's one thing I hate. It sucks. But I'm going to keep bringing hits. I'm going to just keep bringing them shits. It's not yeah, going to stop the mindset me from that you can, hit. Um, like, freaking That was a hit, but the hits. next one going to be a hit, too. So it's like, and it, that one's going to be mine. And you said you've been rapping since you're ten, by the way. So, what were some of your main influences besides Waka? Uh, a lot of, a lot of southern shit. A lot of Waka. A lot of future. Ooh, some southern shit, like you know, like you know, Waka even three future. six. Yeah, like OJ the Juice Man. Oh, OG, Juice Man. Three six. Yeah, 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 Juicy J. All that shit, bro. That's really uh, where. So you just need energy in your fresh. music, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's no, if there's no, like, because I'm about to say, all those people, you just, they have the hardest beats and, and like, it, the right. hardest, like, you know. And, so, like, it's all, like, I feel like it's just a mix between, like, all types of styles. Like, I want to be a southern ass, riot and ass, motherfucker. Yama like, World ain't ever going to turn, like, R&B type beat, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Man, it can. It can. It okay. do- and it does. Okay. It definitely does. So what would you say some of your uh, more softer influences are, like, less away from the energy? Because, yeah, everybody you said, like, immediately I'm thinking, like, yeah, that's just, like, them, that those studio sessions must be turn-up sessions. Like, no, I can just I... imagine you, Cash, all, some of this <laughs> shit just all just fucking up and down, up and down. Like, it is, like sometimes, like, it, who knows how much work is even getting done just because it's so late. Nah, late, bro. yeah, it, it, it's, it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> it, it gets pretty difficult. We just be in there high as hell, bro. We just be in there high, just creating, <laughs> creating the craziest shit ever, bro. To the last but, minute, bro. Yeah, nah, like R&B type shit. I used to really listen to a lot of Dream. The Dream, he was a big, like, okay. influence in me wanting to just see if I could even, like, can I do that? Like, I wonder for if me, I could, yeah. like, For me, it's like, I, I know I can't sing, but with the power of auto-tune and learning my own vocal right, bro, the, the auto-tune was very big, Once bro. you learn auto-tune. your own, how your vocals work, you can just manipulate them in any way, anyway, so. I'm a, I'm a real, I'm big on, like, the 2006 era, like, T-Pain and all that oh, shit. Oh, yeah, fucking so, T-Pain. I I always love auto tune. Like auto tune is really my shit. Like always. So I just that was really just me seeing if I could do it myself, and I stuck with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I guess you said your EP's coming. Like you were saying, is there any other news you can give us? Like, is there going to be videos, for music videos? Because I know you have the one, but we need more music videos, bro. I would love to see that high energy. Like yeah, no, I just finished up. Um, I just finished up the Welcome to Yama World uh video. I just finished that shit okay. up the other week. Okay. I'm waiting for that right now. Oh, so there's um, one in the world. Okay. And I'm we trying to get some more shows popping. What was what would your this is actually one of my questions? What would your ideal show be like? What would your dream venue be? And what would your dream like show be like if you could uh, have, <sighs> pick your guest list or whatever? You know, pick your guest spots for the show. Oh man, I, one day I'm trying. I'm trying to do Coachella. All that. Rolling Hell loud. yeah, Rolling Loud. We was close. We was close to Rolling Loud. We was yeah, very we're allowed to be mad accepting of new yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah. They're genuinely a, a great uh, festivity with that kind of shit. Like Coachella, obviously, there's some right. stiffs, bro. You got to yeah. be a uh, paper boy, paper we gotta, boy. All about that. Yeah, <laughs> nah, we gotta, you got you to be there for that. Yeah, so, like, you got to be. 
Bro, the white, you gotta have the the white chicks on you, <laughs> <laughs> like dead ass. Like they, they if, if your shit ain't at least one song pop off on TikTok. If yeah. it ain't no mall music on your shit, like you gotta have a song like you know a Ray Sherman type song, like with a. Oh man, song. and yeah, we we doing a lot of that too, man. That, I'm just I kind of could see that. I was whatever. actually gonna say, but Ray Sherman would be the type to where they got some banger underground like Southern crazy shit, and then they also have like some shit that that plays at Forever Twenty One. <laughs> like, it's just like, bro, like, ain't, ain't that the craziest shit? Though? That's what I'm saying. I, that, How they could do that? I ain't would love to see you on a stage of Rolling Louds next next to great names. Like, who were some of the? If you had like an underground show, who were some names you might want to have on there? Like, would you do a show with like you were saying like Future and shit? I, I would love to oh, show man. Future. Bro. Yeah. What do you think yeah. that's even like, bro? Like his green room is probably just crazy. Just like Brazilian butt lifts everywhere. <laughs> I, I can't even lean everywhere. I can't even think to like. You know that's that's really just the lifestyle, bro. That's yeah, really I don't the, actually that's, know that's though because really honestly, with someone like Future, it's like, is it really even his lifestyle? It'd probably be he'd probably be eating some what like bougie ass food, sad now. boy he, shit, uh, some sushi. You know what I'm saying? He has like vitamins and shit, like no, no lean or nothing near him. I don't know, man. That's everybody's favorite narcissist. You know what true, I'm saying? true. He, he, that's my man, bro. He he is he has a uh, he clapped too many celebrities. Uh, to where it's like yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Anytime a rapper tries to diss him, he's like, "Oh, but I was with your your girl before you, bro." His and lineup, that's like his ultimate card. His lineup definitely crazy. His lineup some shit. <laughs> Which one line would you do? Los Angeles, New York? Because I, I think they go all over, right? Yeah, like Los. I would Angeles, do the Miami one. Miami, that one goes to crazy. Miami, Miami I feel like goes crazy. You would be a great Miami pool because yeah, that's like the highest energy dude. That's like the X X Miami goes people. crazy. Yeah, like, like side all, shit. the straight Miami rappers, like fucking Space Ghost Perp type people, be there. And that's shit. another one too. Space Ghost. Oh, I love Space Ghost. Everybody, everybody, as much hate, hate as he gets, like he's mentally him. ill, bro. Like, what do you expect? Man. He's gonna tweak. Like, this is it's the nature of the game. It's like saying, is Kanye gonna tweak? Yeah, he's gonna tweak. He's gonna say some crazy shit, but he, but like, he goes too far. You gotta that, respect him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he still released. A, yeah, he still released graduation, bro. He's a legend, bro. Kanye West as, is a as fucking mean legend. as it is to say. Like with Kanye though, he he has gone a little too far though recently. But <laughs> shit, like yeah, I mean shit, bro. It, Kanye was always going far, bro. With everything. True. Yeah, it's do. just it's just as the years go on, he just knows how to push buttons even harder. Like and he just does it. He's like, mastered the game. He's mastered the game of Dad, He definitely has, and he can do it. He's Kanye fucking Bro, West. I need to be more hydrated, bro. I'm, I'm slipping off the chug jug like crazy, like it's Fortnite nah, in this yeah. bitch. Me too, you know what I'm saying? I got the Steiner. Yo, it's Steiner that Yama energy, water. bro. You're draining me, bro. You're using some <laughs> kind of cyberkinetic powers, bro. But that's enough music talk. Well, let's get into some fun shit. Like, I kind of yeah. want to get to know your personality more for the Void family. If, you haven't, if you're not interested in this man's high-energy music yet, then you're a stiff. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Get, get down there, Stiffy. click the link in the bio. You better fucking, you know, roll up some za, sit in your chair, hit it twice, and get take a sip of a bev, hit the play button, and then just 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 jump around and tweet for like twenty five minutes. All right, that's that's what that album's gonna do for you. <laughs> that's the music shit. All right, we know. All right, but I gotta ask you this: If you could live anywhere on the world, where would you live? This is a great personality question. Anywhere in the world. Yeah, like say. Boom, you can spawn it. It's like Minecraft. You could just spawn a house somewhere. Where are you picking? Hmm. Japan. Really? Damn. I, I'm big on, first of all, I'm a big, like, I'm a weeb. Really, you know bro? So, I would have never pinned you for a weeb. Okay. I'm, I'm a, I yeah. mean, no hate. I love weebs, but. Yeah, nah, I'm a real, like, I'm real big in, like, the anime world. If I could so. afford to be a cosplayer, I would do it. Oh, like, yeah, would you dress yeah, yourself up like anime time? and shit? Hell yeah, I would. I would too, I, bro. I'll, I'll go out as Pain right now. I'll go out as Itachi right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I respect that. You want to uh, I'll do that shit right now, bro. <laughs> Matter of fact, next Comic Con, we yeah. lit. Next Void Basement. Like, yeah, first, yeah, we, we pulling up. Yeah. In, in the, I, I'll be the... Uh, the <laughs> I'll be the pervy oh, sage. Yeah, you know, you know the pervy saying? sage is the one that turns to a frog? Oh, yeah. You know <laughs> I'll be that motherfucker. I'm the... R.I.P. Jariah. Facts. Yeah. Yeah, Good man. We we just did some inside weeb joking, but yeah, Japan nah, is a great spot crazy, even right, besides right. the anime because like there's like one some of the most beautiful mountains you could ever see. It's beautiful out there. Besides all that, you know what I'm saying. The I food. Just from, do you like seafood? Yeah. I, oh I yeah, you were in heaven there, dude. That's like 
a majority of their fucking diet. Like, their fast food is, like, seafood type shit. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I'd get mad skinny just because I would just only eat fish. And, like, fish is barely any calories. That's all I would eat out there. Yeah, I would just... just that, the sushi and shit. And the ramen. I mean, plus, I mean, for, I mean, like, just for family events, bro, you could do anything out there. Like, there's all... Like, anything a child could ever want to see. Like, because, you know... You got a son and shit, so like anytime you would take your kid to the arcade and shit, and they would just fucking run. Yo, my son would have a ball, bro. Out there, like bro. out like, here in Jersey, like we don't got shit like that. I would just be taking my son everywhere, like taking bro. all the yeah, different the like little arcades, Nintendo, Nintendo arcades, World and shit, and like Nintendo World. They got all of that shit out there, bro. My that, son would have the time is like I would. My brain would melt. My brain would literally melt. I'm gonna do it too one day. Like we, we, I'm gonna take them out there. I'm gonna bring them everywhere. Living out there must be weird though, cause yeah, you would have to learn Japanese. And honestly, if I saw you speak Japanese, bro, you would scare the fuck out of me. I would think you're an <laughs> anime character. Like I'd be like, oh yeah, shit, nah, yo, that's a katana about to come out of nowhere. That, that's like, something that I would be dedicated to learning though. <laughs> I, I, I want to learn. If I could pick any language, I probably would pick Spanish, just cause like. I love like the, if you know Spanish and especially in the East Coast, you can you can like, shout you can out to the mommies. Shout more. out to the mommies out there. You know like you can just literally like half the fucking restaurants and shit. You could be lit. Like you could just order some extravagant ass food. Like especially out in like Trenton and stuff. Like, but around like. Japan, I don't know. Japanese, I heard, is a really hard language to write. Like learning it yeah, verbally is easy, but I heard right. writing it is like type tough. So right, that'd be that insane, yo. That would be insane. I could kind of see like the anime vibes and like kind of the way you picked your cover. How would that cover art come to be? Oh, I just I told I told the artist I'm like, listen, I want it to look like I'm just taking over the world. But <laughs> that's literally what I told him. That was the prompt, and yeah, that, yeah, was that was back. That was back when I had my hair. I don't know his name, but that was back when I had my hair too, bro. That's another thing, bro. Like I miss my hair, so you miss your hair. I miss my. Dreads, Listen, I don't bro. miss my fucking hair, bro. I, 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 I am not lucky enough to have dreads. dreads, bro. If I had dreads, I would probably look too crazy. Nah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get them back, but like I can't figure out why the hell my hair don't want to grow no more, bro. <laughs> like, oh I, shit! Like, you might need I, some of that fucking uh, what's it? Uh, I used to. I used to get. I used to get a retwist, right? Like. Every month, which is bad. You're not supposed to do that. That's how you make your shit thin out, and that's what oh. happened. I was at my shit was styled like every month. I was doing that shit like every month. Like the most I would wait is like maybe two months, and that's bad. Plus, I'm always dying my shit. My hair went yeah. from oh, like yeah, dying hair is like I already. That's I'm so like I want to do it so bad because I know it would it, just look fun. so sick. It's fun, like, bro. Gotta, like, it's not, like, but I know. Yeah, nah. Like that, you gotta, like, not scratch your head. I just got that white bullism, bro. Like, I know my family <laughs> The white bullism. Nah, yeah, my, my family yo. be balding and shit. I'm not trying to be bald by, like, 23. <laughs> nah, that's in my family, too, though. Like, like you feel me? Like, I wouldn't care if I had a if I had a fucking minion dome ski, but, like, at the same time, like... Nah, bro, if I, took, to let if I took the Dewey off right now, bro, y'all would look at me like, what? Nah, bro. Yeah, if I took this do it, y'all. Nah, but at the same really time, as long as you're comfortable in your own skin, who gives a fuck, bro? bro? I went from blonde, like I went from blonde to red to like red orange type shit. That's to, fucking awesome. Bro, to green, green yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I went to green, then to fucking super bright green to green. Which color do you think did the best? The color I just had, like when I had to cut my hair, that was fucking. It was green, purple, and blue. Oh yeah, that's like yeah, that's a big bang for your buck right that there. That shit, yeah. and I'm just, I'm so mad, bro. <laughs> I'm so fucking mad that it's. I kept the dress though, cause like you know what I'm saying. It's, I'm gonna get it to grow back somehow, some way. I'm gonna do it. But one last hurrah. I, yeah, exactly. Cause I, the motherfuckers gotta go back in. And, you just but can't I'm probably, be stressing, bro. You gotta, you know how you're gonna I do know, it. You gotta bro. calm. You gotta stay calm, cool, and collected. Calm and the it's fuck down. Shit, it's like a plant, bro. You can't, you can't. No stress. <laughs> it's just gotta be. I mean, shit, it'd be easier said than done. And I also, uh, yeah, of course. Man. I, I I tell myself that every day. Like, what is the right. day in your? That's one of my questions. What is the day in your life like? Like, what is the stress levels like? Because I, I feel like it affects every artist differently. Like how their day goes. Oh uh, man, is your I mean, shit variability? Yeah. Like you got? Are you a routine kind of artist? Or are you very variability? Like when you go in, like a day in the life when you're about to create? Like what's that like? Ah uh, shit. Well, if I like tomorrow, for instance, tomorrow Monday, right? Yeah. Yeah. We supposed to hit the stew tomorrow, okay. so okay. Now I try to write as often as I can. Usually I just go in there and I wing the shit. Like I right, fuck it, 
You know what I'm saying? That's usually what I do, but I'm going to try to get back into writing more, like, which is what I'm going to do tomorrow. So I got to, okay. like, prepare myself. Like, I, I'll smoke a little bit and then just go tune myself out somewhere in the corner like a weirdo. <laughs> and yeah, you're I, on some like I'm, fucking yeah, librarian like, shit. I'm yeah, right. I'm just sitting there by myself. Like I'm not gonna you talking to me. I'm not gonna hear you. I can't. Right. If you trying to talk yeah, to me, I get mad um, when when I'm yeah. interrupted during that like thirty minutes of like it's writing like, the process. Right. Because it's bursty. That's the thing. Yeah, you really can't be routine. So a lot of times when people tell me the routine, I'm like, how? It's like for me, it's like I'd be in the car and I'll think of a great ass hook. I'm like, bro, I need to pull over type. But shit. you gotta write it down. Yeah, like, like you gotta write it down. Because I write that shit down yeah, every time. Nah, but. I've had that. Yeah. So, okay. So what is the? You have any special like you know voodoo you do before you get in the stew? Like you got any weird like chant music you play? Like for me, I I'll listen to like ten or six tracks warm up my voice. That I I got like tracks to warm up my voice and shit. Any, uh, any cool little secrets for us? We need the tips, bro. Take a nap. <laughs> take a nap? <laughs> take a nap before you go to the stool. Rest, okay. your, rest your brain. Okay. Close your eyes. That's and then when you... Nap when you podcast, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's when true. I, I when you take a nap, nap, when you take a nap, you just refresh yourself, right? And then just drink hella water, go in the stool, and go crazy. You need... I don't like doing keep drinking your tea too. I don't like caffeine yeah. when I record. I what think kind of tea? what kind of tea do you like? Like black tea, green tea. Green, like I, I drink a lot of green. I green can't even lie. I, I drink a lot of green. Wine. I like Arizona. Yeah, I'm an Arizona Every head. Day at work. Throw the honey in that shit. Right. Mm. Oh, I drink I drink honey by the bottle, bro. I like how this, it, yeah. your throat can get fucked up so easily, and that as a, a musician and even just a, an artist who speaks, you need your voice, like. It's real hard to make it in this game with a voice, let alone without a voice. So you got to keep take care of that throat, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> pause. Whoa. Yo, pause. Pause, 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 pause. One final question for you, my man. Because this has been a hell of an interview. It sounds like we got a fucking dog fight oh, up man. in there, bro. They, they oh, they shit. Hold up. Crazy. Hold up. They fight through the walls. We, we really in the basement, though. You hear the heater in this bitch. Like, yeah. if you look over to the side, there's a heater, boiler. Yeah, when it switches like, on, if you go down, you can As somebody the who's little, seen the, the show, it's not the crazy. ones that make that. <laughs> Skeet. Yeah. <laughs> what, is what, is, what is that? The fucking smoke alarm, Jones? Yeah, this, the, uh, yeah, like the smoke and uh, <laughs> carbon monoxide and shit. Everything's in this bitch, bro. It's the real nah, basement. Yeah, I fuck with it, bro. We really from the, the cement to the fucking. You know, satellites. That's how we, that's how we started, man. Oh, shout out to KP, man. The basement. That's where. <laughs> that's where we really started this shit, man. And I gotta get all the people that are on your album on my shit too. Like, come on, Slim. Come on, bro. Like, you're coming on my shit next. I think we're gonna do everybody. Yeah, everybody. man. Could Slim you... and KM, bro. Shout out to D. Oh, yeah. KM for sure as well, bro. He's been on my radar for. I've known him forever, so like, I just gotta literally like. We just gotta. I was, the it's thing is, crazy, bro. I knew you had an EP coming. Like, I didn't know, but I kind of felt it in the air because I'm like, all right, it's 2023. <laughs> it's He's been kind of promoting some stuff. I'm like, there's about to be EP in the air. I can feel it. So I'm, I like to get people on right before they're about to drop. Yeah, no, nah, you just so you get me a at boost. the perfect time, bro. Yeah, just so you get a boost. You I got to um, Yeah, because I saw your story yesterday or I'm whatever. Dropping, yeah, I'm dropping uh, Shit's a crazy. single at the EP next week. Yeah, Beautiful. Arizona that genre. shit will be in the fucking bio because this will come out that Sunday. So this that shit will be in the bio. Yeah, Click it or on. ticket. But yeah, the final question we ask every guest. What is the scariest moment of your life? Scariest moment of my life? <sighs> it's, a, uh, it's a hard question, I know. Everything was in Roblox, though. For the yeah. twelve, if you watch Don't me. Don't say nothing you don't want to say. Okay. <laughs> All right, nah, nah. I'm, I'm a, it's, this is a funny one. This is a funny one. All right, bet. Um, cause I, it, it's a lot, but it's one of those ones where I'm you not look at it, get, you laugh yeah, at like, it. Now, I'm, right, shit. I'm not gonna get like too explicit because like, you know it's been a lot. <laughs> this I, is, I, I been through some shit. Yeah, I'm not bro. even gonna lie to y'all. Like, those waves have hit. You feel yeah. me? Um, uh, one night, like, shit, I was probably like 15 at the time. And we went to um we went to some big ass mansion party, right? Now I in my mind, like I'm like, all right, yeah, like we about to record, <laughs> like I'm about to record hella music. Cause they was oh, bring yeah. they was bringing like the equipment there too. Like I remember my man was telling me like, yeah, like about to have the equipment. It was some official shit. This shit was about to be crazy. I'm like, all right, yeah, this is a this is a function for real. Uh so we get there, or whatever. I'm there, we I'm drunk as fuck. Like, you know, <laughs> drunk as fuck. Like, got the equipment set up. And then 
Alcohol makes it scarier. Like some random boy just in the corner. Like this is the first time I seen. This is the first time I seen coke. Like ever. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> like, it was that kind of man. Yo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like we, first time I, I'm like I'm looking at this dude like, yo, like what the hell? The next thing you know, bro. Big ass bro, just break out like. Oh like, my god, you bro! People, you got people throwing drinks at girls. It was like he put shit. the fucking gold out. It was like the the, the Lord of the Rings ring type bro, shit. It was the the randomest shit was happening, <laughs> bro. Like just all oh, like. Do you think alcohol had something to do with it? Like, be honest. Like that room was maybe too schmizzed, or like the alcohol and the cocaine. <laughs> I, bro, that shit was I scary never mixed, as hell, bro. I don't know. I, I feel like I'd be too fucking fucked that up. That shit was scary as it, bro. It was mad people in And there, were you by bro. the door at this point, or did you have to make your way out type No, shit? bro. I was stuck in there. Oh, I no. Like, I was oh, drunk. I recorded, I recorded a whole song, too. It's off one of my uh, throwback <laughs> albums, actually. It's off the Blue Hurricane hell album yeah, from back bro. in the day. Shit. Everybody that know me for real, they know about that one. Blue, <laughs> the Blue Hurricane. It's off that one. I think the song called... Uh, in my lane or some shit like that. That he was in your lane for sure that yeah, night, bro. Yeah. Okay. There was brawling and shit. Damn, bro. Definitely. That sounds scary. I, I, you know, I have actually only been to maybe one or two parties where it got out of hand to the point where people were swinging. Yeah, no. Nah, and every I, time I just, I hate those. Man. I ain't trying That's to be there until the police fuck, get there. Bro. I'm out. I don't give a fuck. It's, it's never yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's never it's me. Never, yeah. Don't got nothing to do with me. Shit, to do I don't, with me. I'm turned up. Sometimes I think people go to parties to fight. Some For people what? really, I'm like, like come on, bro, I go, go to, to parties to socialize, homie. Shit. Like, I'm trying to just talk, yeah, and, you know, make some friends, you know, yeah. have a few some sips. You want to box shit. it out? All right, like, yeah. you and your like, this get the gloves like, or yo, something. Yo, yeah, UFC, this ain't a UFC pay-per-view, bro. Like, I ain't paid for this pay-per-view. Yeah, bro, I done seen that happen so many fucking times, though, bro. Like, it's just, well, it's, I don't get it, bro. At this point, that's why you laugh at it. You're not even scared anymore. It's just like, you've seen it. Ain't shit to be scared of. Hell no. But yeah, people of the fucking void, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This was definitely a good one, bro. Uh, yeah, plug anything you got to plug. Uh, we'll definitely be putting your links in the description. But thanks again for coming, bro. Yeah, man. Thanks a lot for having me, And we'll bro. definitely be having pleasure, you on man. this Chef Silly B show. We got another special guest coming, too, for the first few episodes, trying to get that off the fucking ground the same way this pod came off the ground, bro. Oh, yeah. Little Chef steps. Shit, chef shit. I'm trying to eat. Yeah. Hey, and, and listen, I, you know I'm bro. fat. You know, I got the good taste buds. I, I've been around the block or two with food, you know what I'm saying? So be ready, man. But, uh, <laughs> peace. Always.